Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's lesson, we will introduce a very common and practical design pattern, the singleton design pattern. The singleton pattern ensures that a class has only one instance during runtime and provides a global access point. Let's dive in and learn more about it. Imagine that a country can only have one president at a time. Whenever a decision needs to be made by the president, only this single president can be found. The president in this example represents a singleton. This example vividly illustrates the concept of the singleton pattern. According to Wikipedia, the singleton design pattern is a creational design pattern that ensures a class has only one instance throughout the application and provides a global access point. In other words, the singleton pattern guarantees that during the application's life cycle, only one object of a class is created. So why do we use the singleton pattern? There are several benefits to using this design pattern. 1. Resource saving. By limiting a class to only one instance, we can avoid significant resource consumption, especially for objects that are expensive to create. 2. Global access. The singleton pattern provides a global access point, making it convenient to share and access the single instance across different parts of the application. 3. Control instance number. Ensuring only one instance throughout the application prevents multiple parts from creating and inconsistently using the same resource. Despite its usefulness, the singleton pattern is also considered an anti-pattern and should be used with caution. The reasons include 1. Introducing global state. Changing the singleton state affects other parts of the application, making debugging difficult. 2. Tight coupling. Using singletons increases coupling between code, making unit testing and mocking objects challenging. To better understand the singleton design pattern, let's look at an example implemented in Java. First, we define a singleton class whose constructor is private and provides a static method to get its only instance. Next, we can get the unique instance of the singleton class through the getInstance method. In this example, we first obtain the unique instance of the singleton class by calling the getInstance method, then call its showMessage method to display a message. As you can see, no matter how many times the getInstance method is called, the same instance is returned. In a multi-threaded environment, we need to ensure the singleton is thread safe. For this, we can use the double-checked locking mechanism, which ensures safe creation and access to the singleton instance even in a multi-threaded environment. Finally, let's summarize today's lesson. The singleton design pattern is a simple yet crucial design pattern that ensures a class has only one instance and provides a global access point. Although it is sometimes considered an anti-pattern, it can still be highly effective when used in the right scenarios. Thank you all for watching. If you liked this video, please like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. See you next time.